What's good, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today, I got a sideshow figure in the mail. Um, you can see it right here, Mandalorian Deluxe with Child. And uh, I was lucky enough to get this for a really, really good deal through Sideshow Points and um, other coupons and stuff like that. So today, we're going to unbox this thing. And uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, so stick around. <laughs> All right, so we are back after a few weeks, after a short hiatus, and with a bang. So we've got the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Mandalorian Deluxe with Child. Um, this is a figure, a Hot Toy that's been on my radar for a little while now, and I am ready to just tear into this thing. But before I go any further, if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed to the channel, stick around for a while, click the subscribe button. I know a lot of people who view this channel aren't. And hopefully over the next couple of weeks, if everything goes good and according to plan, we are going to be opening more figures. So I've got this one here. I've got a couple other hot toys, sideshow stuff on the way. Um, there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming. Um, but I don't really want to waste a whole lot more time talking about all that. So let's go ahead and let's switch over cameras here and let's get this thing going. All right, so here is our figure and uh, the box, really. Um, and you can see it's got some artwork on the side here. It's got a little bit of a, a band around it as well. It doesn't hinder how you open the box. So don't uh, feel the need to try and slide this thing off without, you know, trying to tear it or anything. It's not going to tear when you open it. But you got some figure artwork on here with the child, the Mandalorian. Uh, some more right there. This isn't stuff from... The TV show. This is actually the figure itself posed up in these. Um, same thing here on the side. And then the back is just kind of like your legalese and stuff like that. Nothing super fancy going on there. Um, the same with this side. Nothing super fancy is happening here either. But let's go ahead and let's get this thing opened up. So this should just slide right up like so. I'm trying to be careful not to tear anything up here. But, yep, that just pops right off like that. And you can see it's got some more um, promotional shots from the figure. Um, this is something you actually seen in the show, and they've done a really, really good job of actually posing it up to um, mimic what happened in the show. Um, but this is also just going to slide out, and there it is. Um, there is a lot of stuff in here, a whole bunch of stuff in this box. So, um, we're going to just go ahead and we're going to start unpacking it. Um, lots of blister packs here. Let me peel some of this tape, make this a little bit easier, but this should just pop back like that. And you can see right there all the stuff that's in that, and we'll cover all that once we get everything out of the box here. Um, but just continuing, I think... Some directions. Oh, goodness. So there is the actual figure. And then down here, there's a bunch of other stuff, too. So let's get to taking a look at all of this as well. So this should just slide right off here. Yep. And that gives you a look at everything that's in here. Um, got the figure of the child. Looks like you're getting two child uh, figures. So there's one with the, uh, the hovercraft as well. This is, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Um, I'm going to move some of this plastic. But once you get into... This one here, you have the display stand, which is pretty darn cool as well. They, uh, it's not really the boring old play stand that they have with a lot of them. It's actually kind of like a, a rock surface. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and set that over here. Um, another part of the stand here, it looks like some flight stand parts. Uh, more stand. There's a 
sure I about lost. Ooh, that was close. Got the pieces there. And got some the blaster and some fire stuff here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and let's let's start with the child first. You can see kind of right there. Um, a lot of actual good detail in this. So this is going to look awesome in the display over there. I'm trying to get my Detops all set up um, with Hot Toys, and they've had horror figures from NECA on them, and then I got another one that's full of TMNT stuff, which I kind of want to... That's pretty cool, the gun there. I kind of want to keep the one full of TMNT stuff. Um, but we're working towards getting one full of just hot toys, Star Wars hot toys. Uh, so here's the uh, the rifle he carries. Uh, looks good as well. And that's actually, that's pretty flexible right there. I'm going to be careful with that, though. I don't, don't want to break that. That will be bad. Here is, that's the canister that had the Beskar in it. Pretty cool. Speaking of Beskar, there's actually some Beskar right there. Awesome. I wonder if that opens up to where I can put it. I really should read the directions on these. And I just haven't been. Top of the hovercraft there. It's pretty cool. We got a little Mandalorian hologram there. Home pad for that. Um, there's some other stuff in here. These look like little um, wrist joints here, just extras. So I'm going to keep those in the package. Um, some batteries. I'm not sure what these are for, but <laughs> we do have batteries. That one right there is another child. Um, you can see it's just like a half child for the hovercraft here. So that's that's pretty cool that you get both of them here um so you can you can display them walking you can display them in this craft and if you put him in this little hovercraft thing here you can actually use the other one for something else down the road so that is pretty cool um and then let's go ahead and let's get ando out here remove those put that right there All right, so here he is. This guy's probably about a foot tall, and you can see all the detail and everything in the armor here. Um, the cape is soft goods. I appreciate that. I bought them um, the Black Series Mandos, and they have that that cape that's, um, ooh, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but my cape definitely has a tear in it. Um, that sucks. Maybe that's supposed to be like that, though. That's kind of disappointing, though. Uh, if it's not, because that's a big old tear. Um, but maybe, maybe that's supposed to be in there like that for some reason. Um, we'll we'll see later on down the road. Um, but, yeah, the lightness on this thing is killer. Look at that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and let's, let's talk about everything. I'm going to set him down here. And then we're kind of, we'll just go over everything that's in here. Um, okay, so I finally got everything taken out of the packaging here. And there is a ton of little trinkets in here. Um, but there is a lot of stuff to take in. And they do ship you that little manual to go through. And I, I suggest using that if you um, don't know your way around it. I'm definitely going to be doing it when I start putting more stuff together with this figure. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do some of the basic stuff. But let's go ahead and let's start with showing you everything that it comes with. So 
Um, first up here, I'm going to get the Beskar. So you got a actual little Beskar plate here. One little one there. And then there is a entire brick of Beskar here or pile uh, that's going to go, I believe, in this right here. Now, um, this is one of those things. You can see it, it opens up right there. And that is probably how you're going to put your best car in there. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say this thing will take batteries as well. Um, ooh, these are all going to open up. So pretty cool there. And then you should be able to get, well, I'm going to try here. So that is supposed to open. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's easier to open it from the bottom first and then do your thing. So that should fit right in there like so. And there you go. You got your your best car inside of your little compartment thing here. Um, and then if you want to close it back up, you can. Um, looks like the same thing. I'd almost... Start maybe I don't know. I'm gonna mess with that a little bit more later. Um, I don't want to break it, uh, but let's move on here. So, bunch of different assortment of hands here. You've got some closed fist hands. A couple of those. This one's got a trigger finger on it. Another closed fist hand. So is that three? Eh. That one holds something. It's close to a clo close fist, but it holds something. And then another trigger finger. And then the ones that come on um, the Mandalorian are just your basic open hands. Um, moving on here, we've got, got the flamethrower for the wrist. So that's going to slot in one of those places there. This is also, I believe, for the wrist. And this is... Uh, uh, I don't remember what they call them in the show. Pretty cool little effect to have, though. And then these are actually going to go in the jet pack. And I'll show you that in a little bit when we get to it. Got a hologram here of another Mandalorian. Got his pistol, which is pretty cool. That's good. And then um, here's the knife. This right here is tiny, and I'm going to have to put this on the little guy as soon as I can. But it's, um, sorry, I dropped it once. It's a little necklace, kind of like a little insignia for um, the Mandalorian. It looks like Boba Fett's uh, little insignia. Pretty cool, though. You can slap that on him if you need to. Um, then there's just a bunch of other little things here. I don't know if you can see these or not. Um, right there, a couple other small little items. Looks like you're going to get a replacement shoulder piece here. This is pretty cool. This will probably break easy, but this is the little grappling hook. Pretty awesome. His rifle, which we kind of, you know, hit on just a little bit when we opened it up. Now, this looks good. I can't wait to get this thing all squared away. Um, looks awesome. And then um, let's go ahead and let's go to like this. We'll go to this hoverboard. So this thing comes with a child in it already. And um, you got a little blanket and stuff in there as well. You can see a little half child. He doesn't have legs or anything. Now, there's a magnet in here. And I just found this out, but he will actually magnetize to the front of your little hovercraft here. And you can see he's not going to fall out or anything. So that's pretty cool. They actually have um, made it easy to where you can find the right positioning for this guy. So pretty awesome. If you want, you got a cover here. I guess that that will just uh, probably 
Gonna have to move them back though. Yeah. Like so. And then there it is. It's all squared away. Hopefully, yep, it comes off just as easy. And then same thing, just move your guy up to the top here. Get that stuff all situated. And there it is. So, one of the other things that came with the stand is this right here. This little plastic piece that's going to simulate the hovering. And it took me a minute to figure this out when I was getting everything out of the box. Because it's supposed to go on this piece here. You can see there's no, um, no spots for it. So I messed around a little bit. This right here actually just pops right off. So that right there, in case you're not using the hover, you can keep that. Um, but that just slides in like so. And then your hovercraft is going to fit right on top. So just straighten it out. And there you go. So that right there is going to simulate your hovering. And then um, if you want to use that, that is, it'll fit just like this on top of your other stand. So that's kind of how the, everything's going to go together for you. Um, that's pretty cool if you want to do that. If you don't, you have the option of using this guy. So this is the other child that it comes with. And I want to get him a bit closer, but... This is um, one that stands. You can see it's pretty good. It looks like it's in the scale, too. Um, he doesn't move around. It looks like at all. His head will move. His arms will not. So um, this guy, you can, you can make him look different directions. That's going to be about it. But he'll just uh, he'll stand up just like that. Uh, we did not talk about this. Hover pack that's in there. So this is pretty cool. This uh, was one of the things that was wrong on the um, Black Series figures because the cape, it would fit on his back, but the cape was really, really bad with it. Um, so this mm -hmm. is it's magnetized as well. And then you can just like that right there. So pretty awesome there. One of the disappointments that I have so far is with this stupid cape um, it is a better cape, but you can see mine came with a giant hole in it right here. And I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. I did email Sideshow about it. Um, but um, if you experience the same kind of issue, uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you did about it. Because I need to figure that out. But that is, um, oh, you know what, before we stop, hover pack. These are actually just going to slide in just like this. And there you go. Your Mandalorian is taking flight. Put that on his back like that. So pretty awesome looking. That looks good. Set that just like so. I like that it's magnetized. I mean, it, it's easy to put on. It doesn't really get in the way of anything. If you want to take it off, you're not hurting anything. You're just done, just like that. So the pegs that they put on some of the figures, I don't like those. I just I feel like the pegs wear out too easy, and you're just asking for trouble with them, and then stuff always falls off real easy. And this uh, is about as simple as it gets. So I, I am definitely a fan of... The, uh, the magnets on these. But anyways, let's go ahead. I'm going to get this thing all posed up a couple different ways and uh, you know, see how it looks. So let's go ahead and let's hop over and let's do that now. All right, so here's our first pose. And I went with something pretty simple, really. Um, I just went ahead and pulled the, uh, the pistol out of the holster, applied it to the hand, and I, I did have to switch a hand to get it on there. But overall, this was a super simple pose, and it looks amazing, I think. Um, also, real quick, the hole in the cape you can see there as it passes by is actually made that way so you can attach the rifle to his back so i feel a lot better now knowing that and that's why you read your directions people you'll find out stuff that you might not have known and um, this is one of those things i read the directions and there was quite a bit of stuff that i could see in them that i probably would have messed up or possibly broke if i did not take the time to do so 
But anyways, back to this. This just looks fantastic. I like the um, the way that the gun is actually attached to the Mando when you flip it over on his back there. It looks really good. It looks really natural. Now, that part that you see, the leather part, actually snaps into his bandolier. It uh, goes across his chest, and it, it's super simple. That's the best part of it. This was really, really easy to put together. The pistol looks good in his hand. The best scar canister also looks really, really good and natural in his hand there. And then even the child down below looks great. Uh, one of the things I had to do with that, though, is I did put the necklace on him. And you actually have to pop the head off to put it on. At least that is the uh, the way that is um, preferred uh, according to Hot Toys. And it was really simple. I didn't feel um, nervous at any moment trying to do that. But this this pose actually might be the pose that I end up going with when I put this in my display. I like it that much. But we're not going to stop here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to mess around a little more. And we're going to find some other poses with this guy that you guys might like or might want to use on your own so let's go ahead and let's change this guy up now okay so here is our second pose and i really didn't change a whole lot about this i didn't move the feet around or anything um, this was just taking the rifle off of his back which wasn't hard um, getting it in his hands i had to work with a little bit because the arms with the shoulder pads aren't as um flexible as you would imagine this toy to be uh, you consider you know hot toys to have all the articulation and all the movement you need but these kind of hindered it a little bit but I still got it up there with a little bit of uh, ease I didn't want to force anything and uh, I think this looks really good too <laughs> this I know I said the last one that this might be the pose that I put in my display but this actually might be the pose for my display you can see on the back there I added the um the jetpack to it and it looks awesome i do wish that i had a way to display this with um, the effects coming out of the jetpack but really in all actuality i don't think i'll be using it that way this looks just completely fine to me this is just a very very well put together figure i am completely in love with it and um we're gonna do you know some science comparisons here and everything in a little bit but if you are, you know, second-guessing this figure, you haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, or maybe Hot Toys is luring you in with another one, because I think they've got two or three other ones already lined up after this one, this is a good figure. Um, I wouldn't even say that you're settling for this figure. This is fantastic. I love this thing so far. But anyways, um, we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and I'll pull it off the stand here, off the, the rotating display, and let's get you know some side-by-sides of you know this one and another Mandalorian. So let's go ahead and let's get that started. Okay, so here is our side-by-side, -side, and we've got the Mandalorian next to the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. One is noticeably bigger than the other, and I would expect it to be considering how much bigger he was in the show than Din Djarin. But these figures together look fantastic. Um, I've not done a review yet on the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, but look for that in the future. I was super excited when I got that. It was my first hot toy I've ever opened, and I just tore through it. I could not wait to get it out of the box. So we're going to revisit that here in the near future. But you can see these two, they complement each other very well. And because I got the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian was one of the reasons I got the deluxe version of Din Djarin. Um, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to have one and not the other at this point. But these figures definitely look good next to each other. They were semi-sort of hard to pose with the weapons, but now that I've got them with the weapons posed, I like it a whole lot more. So it turned out to be worth the, uh, the extra trouble. But you can see these figures... They do scale well with each other. And then you got the child also down there. And it scales pretty good too. The only thing that I've noticed that I don't like so far about this one that um, I'm unboxing tonight. So you can see here, if you're wanting to use the hover chair, then you have to use the base that Sideshow has given you for that hover chair. And I, being that that's the only option, I don't necessarily like that so much, considering that you can stand the Mandalorian up just as is. You don't have to use the base for it. 
And you can do the same with the child that it came with. But I kind of want to display it with this in my display. And I just don't like how that looks where I have the rock base and then the rest of it is just not going to be there. So I one complaint I do have is I do wish that Sideshow would have sent maybe a clear base as well, just like a round flat piece that that clear um, thing holding up the hover chair could fit in, similar to what it's doing now. I think that that would have been something fairly easy to do, and I wish that it, it would have happened, and it just didn't. But really, that that's about the only thing that I've noticed so far about this that I have an issue with and it's a minor issue at that so it's at the end of the day this was this was worth it to me and maybe i'll display it with this thing maybe i won't but we're still gonna go ahead and we're gonna you know hopefully show this thing off some more whether it's in this video or not all right so here we go and this is gonna be the last pose of the night but this is a good one i don't necessarily think i'll use this pose though because I think the gun sticks out a little bit too far and too high for my display, and it, it just won't look as good, I don't think. Um, but this is a fun one. Uh, one thing you can see down towards the bottom is I went ahead and I installed the batteries into the Beskar container, and it looks pretty good. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but I think it gets the point across. Um, but overall, I am super happy with how this display turned out as well. I think a lot of the time I'm probably going to end up just using the standing child. I do appreciate having the option of having the hovercraft um, with the child. But this one overall I like a little bit better because I don't have to use the display stand with it. Like I was saying earlier, if the child with the hovercraft came with a acrylic type stand base and I was able to plug that in, I think that would look a, a a whole lot better in my display and it just doesn't have that and I just don't like the display that I'm forced to use with that so with saying that this is probably going to be the way that I display this unless something else comes up later on and I just change my mind and go with the other way but this is a whole lot of fun so um, I think um, I think we're done from here I hope everyone has enjoyed this but here we go let's go ahead switch back and let's wind this video down all right everyone that wraps up my review of the hot toy one six scale mandalorian deluxe figure with child this has been fun and i do apologize that i didn't go super into depth with everything about this figure but sometime in the next week look for another video of this figure popping up i know we talked about the accessories and i showed you a few poses on this but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do a video of just poses with this figure i don't know how long it'll be but i think it'll be fun and it might give you some ideas on how you'll want to display this figure if you have it already or if you are planning on getting it in the future but anyways i hope you had fun with this i hope that if you are not subscribed that you are planning to stick around and click that subscribe button now if you really want to see these videos when they pop up click the bell for notifications but anyways i am super excited to get back into all of these figure reviews and i hope you are too so keep checking back for more content and i will catch everyone in the next video so stay strange everyone